Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss 11 bow ties every dapper man should have. If you recall, you already did a video about 12 neckties every man should have, and bow ties are a little different. Some men are uncomfortable wearing them, but if you can pull them off the right way, you really stand out from the crowd in a very debonair way. Some people will argue they're a little more eccentric. At the same time, they wear cooler, especially during the summer, because you don't have anything covering your chest. Of course, if you have issues hanging your ties in your food and getting them stained with bow ties, you won't have that issue. So what 11 bow ties should be part of every dapper gentleman's wardrobe? One, the black silk bow tie. I think every man should have at least one black bow tie in silk because chances are you'll be invited to a tuxedo event, maybe it's a wedding, maybe a gala, maybe another formal evening event, and without it, you simply don't fit in and it's bad because you don't adhere to the dress code. In case you don't own a tuxedo, I still think you should have a black bow tie because you can wear it with a dark suit and just give a different appearance than if you'd wear a regular necktie. Ideally, you should get a silk that matches the lapel facing of your tux, and most of the time that's satin, it can also be grow grain, and to learn more about what black silk bow tie is best for your outfit and your face, please check out our in-depth guide video on that. You may be familiar with our online shop, and we actually offer the largest selection of high quality black bow ties for gentlemen in the world, so take a look. The second bow tie you should invest in is a navy one with white polka dots. Winston Churchill famously wore it, the tea magnet Lipton had one, and it's just one of those all-time classics that works well with dark suits, as well as sport coats, tweed coats, or any other sport coat combination and casual outfits. Most people have one in silk. Personally, I prefer one in wool shelly, such as this one from Fort Belvedere. It has pointed diamond ends, and it just adds more texture to the outfit. It's fantastic for fall winter outfits, and the tones are rather subdued, so they're not over the top, so you can wear them with a suit or with a combination. The third bow tie you should invest in is a red silk micro pattern bow tie. It can be small dots, it can be a larger pattern, maybe a diamond pattern, but red is just one of those colors in menswear that combines extremely well with any kind of dark suit, no matter whether it's navy, charcoal, maybe a light gray, but you can also wear it with green, brown, you name it. The micro pattern makes solid shirts and suits more interesting, but you can also pair it with, let's say, a pin dot suit, maybe a striped suit, or even a window pane suit. Quite often, these bow ties come with jacket woven silk. However, I suggest you don't go with them and go with printed silk instead because they have a finer weave. And if you have facial hair, and every man does, no matter whether you shave regularly or not, the little hair will pull out silk threads and it will look very bad, especially on a jacket woven silk. Probably my favorite red micro pattern bow tie is this one from Fur Belvedere with a micro pattern. It's a mather red, it's nice and rich, but it's not too bright, and it has accents with black and buff, which is kind of a form of beige and yellow that's not too bright, but still provides enough contrast for an interesting outfit. The fourth bow tie you should invest in is the Prince of Wales check tie. The Prince of Wales check pattern is a very classic pattern. You can find it in suits, you can find it in neckties, sometimes pocket squares, and even socks. For bow ties, you can use it. It pairs particularly well with business suits. If you get a very fine pattern and it's repetitive, it's visually interesting, but it's subdued. My favorite one to pair with a business suit is the navy and off-white one from Fort Belvedere with pointed ends that you can see here. It's very understated. If you wanna go a little louder, maybe you can go with something red. If you go with a larger pattern, the problem you have is that while it works for ties, it doesn't work for bow ties because the pattern is too large and it can't repeat itself. In case you want a larger pattern, I suggest you go with bow tie number five, which is a houndstooth bow tie, which is part of a Prince of Wales check, but this one is just uniform, it's larger, and here you can see it in a silk bourrette, which is a thicker yarn. It has a different twist, it is matter than a silk, and therefore really well suited to any kind of tweed outfit, maybe any kind of rustic outfit, anything with more texture, basically. Some people also call it dog tooth or pepita. At the end of the day, it's all the same thing. And it's one of those classic patterns that will never go out of style. And therefore, if you invest in a bow tie of this pattern, you will always be able to wear it, no matter what the current fashion will be. 
a six bow tie you should invest in is a yellow bow tie. Ideally, you go with something in a pale tone simply because it combines better with traditional men's suit and sport coat colors because when you go too bright, it just stands out too much and it's harder to combine because it creates a higher contrast. With a subtle yellow or maybe a buff tone, you can add tones like yellow, orange, red, or green, and will always be a dapper combination that contrasts well on white shirts, light blue shirts, pink shirts, and any other form of pastel colored shirt. My favorite one is probably the one from Ford Belvedere with diamonds on them, with red, blue, and orange combined, because it goes with so many things. It's one of my favorite travel bow ties, because I can just combine it with anything I have in my closet. The seventh bow tie you should invest in is a green bow tie. I think green is one of the most underrated colors in menswear, and we even did an entire video about that, so please check that out, because green is so versatile. For bow ties, I think for fall, winter, a darker green, such as a British racing green, or a bottle green is perfect. For spring, summer, a lighter green, such as olive, or a maybe linen green, are perfect. No matter whether you get a matter silk bow tie that is well suited to suits, or maybe something with bourrette, which is more casual, that has more texture, or maybe wool chali, which is a little more matte, a green bow tie goes with most outfits. No matter if you have blue, gray, brown, you can even wear it with a green suit, even red tones, purple, and it works particularly well with orange tones. So think about adding an orange pocket square with it because it creates a very nice contrast and it's very harmonious. The eighth bow tie you should invest in is a striped bow tie. Traditionally, you had the red stripe bow tie, just like the one here with a red and blue stripe, but that is quite good for traditional preppy outfits. However, if you want something else, you could go with maybe a shantung bow tie, which adds more texture. It has these irregular silk knobs, it's softer, and just gives your outfit a more casual character. Multiple stripes can also work. They have more of a regimental character, and if you're not part of the regiment, you can still wear them because there's so many variations on them and hardly anyone will ever notice what kind of regiment it is. In fact, most striped bow ties are not part of a regiment and if you don't want to be an imposter, maybe it pays to look it up before you get it. Otherwise, just wear it with confidence and enjoy it. The ninth bow tie you should invest in if you live in any kind of warmer climates or if you go to warmer climates is a linen bow tie. Sometimes blended with silk, or wool, it just has a very summery character, it wrinkles in a sophisticated way, it's usually in lighter colors, comes with a warp oftentimes in white, and therefore it's just a summery character, and I personally like to wear them with seersucker, maybe with a fresco suit, and you can even pair them with a linen suit. The tenth bow tie you should invest in is a paisley bow tie. Paisley is an all-time classic. It's a pattern derived from India. It has been revived and reused in menswear and interior design over and over again. So you can see here, this is like a large paisley pattern. This is a medium-sized one on the red one. And over here in the mannequin, you can see a very small paisley pattern. And it's a form of a micro pattern, but it's just a style that will always be around and is very well suited to any kind of classic outfit. The 11th bow tie you should invest in is a velvet bow tie. The velvet fabric is very unique in a sense that it has a long nap because basically it is woven and then cut in the middle. So it's very different than other kinds of fabrics and it's actually a relative of the corduroy fabric. To learn more about that, please check out our corduroy guide on the website. Traditionally, the most prized velvets were silk velvets. Today, however, you'll mostly find viscose and cotton velvets, which are not as soft and not as sparkly. Because of that, I designed some prototypes using only the highest quality Italian velvet with a high amount of silk, so you get that sparkle, and soon we'll have them in our shop, so stay tuned. If you have these 11 bow ties, you pretty much have every situation covered. In case you want more, you can look into orange, turquoise, maybe other tones of red and brown. Personally, I have close to 100 bow ties because I like to have the different patterns and the different shapes, and whenever I find something that's unusual and I like, I buy it because I also like larger bow ties and smaller ones, pointed ones, straight ones, batwing ones, butterfly ones, and it's just a really nice way to change an entire outfit, especially a suit, because it makes it look so different without having to invest in a lot of other things. If you're uncomfortable or if you do not know how to tie a bow tie, please check out our video. It has been watched by more than half a million men 
and it really helped them to tie a bow tie the right way every time. You guess it, it's time for the outfit description. In today's video, I'm wearing a three-piece custom suit made out of a kind of charcoal brown fabric with faint orange-red stripes from Knoll. The cut is a peaked lapel, which is more formal. I combine it with a double-breasted waistcoat, which likewise is a peaked lapel, and a nice cutout. The pants have a fishtail bag for suspenders and inward facing pleats, just the way I like them for my figure, because I have a big bum and a big thigh, and slim fit pants just don't look good on me. The shoes are a burgundy pair of Darby's. It's a very French style with a long last and somewhat of a chisel toe. They're from Cobbler Union and my socks are gray with a clock pattern. They have some red and white in them, which goes well with my shirt and the stripe and the suit. They're from Fort Belvedere. My cufflinks are gold with a dark red garnet and my ring is likewise gold. It's from Hungary with a bloodstone in dark green and red, which goes well with my suit and my bow tie. The bow tie I'm wearing here today is a red matter silk bow tie with some blue and an orange dot. It's a micro pattern, it's a little flower, and it works really well with a formal suit like the one I'm wearing here right now, but it would also work with a tweed sport coat like the one over here. The shirt I'm wearing is a white herringbone shirt of I think a Thomas Mason fabric made by Sangar. The pocket square I'm wearing is a simple white linen pocket square from Fort Belvedere that suits the formality of the suit and works well with my shirt. You can find all of the Fort Belvedere bow ties and even more than we showed in the video here in our shop. And if you're in the market for bow ties, self-tie bow ties that look really dapper when you tie them and are slightly different every time for a really unique character, please check out our shop. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.